Hi guys, this is Valentina Palladino for Ars Technica and today I want to talk to you a little bit about smart clothing. So smart clothing has been around for the past couple of years now. It hasn't been really as ubiquitous as wearables, anything you wear on your wrist or um, other things like that, but it's starting to gain some traction. Um, one of the first companies that I was aware of was a company called Sensoria. The first thing that they made were these socks right here that I have on my feet. Um, they're connected running socks, so they're supposed to tell you all different types of data. They have sensors embedded into the fabric and they they attach to some modules that then speak via Bluetooth to your phone. They've come out with smart t-shirts and smart bras, one of which I'm wearing underneath this jacket, um, that all monitor heart rate. So the Sensoria Smart Socks have actual technology running through them. You can see the pattern of the socks is a little bit different than your regular socks. Um, and those are on those discolorations and they're a little bit raised but not really. That's where the technology flows through them. They're kind of these wires that communicate with those white modules there that snap on. Um, so they're magnetic. So as you can see here, there's these little weird thumb size uh, kind of panel that attaches magnetically to the inside of the module. So whatever you were going for run, you just snap these on and get to running. So in the app, you'll be able to see how much weight you're placing on different parts of your feet. And that will contribute to kind of your foot landing scores. And if you kind of have a goal that you want to land on your heel rather than the, um, the ball of your foot, you can get all that information from the socks. In the modules themselves, they have accelerometers in them. So the accelerometers that would be in your wristbound wearable are also in these. So that's for you know distance, calorie, duration, all that kind of stuff. You can get a pack of two socks in one module and that will cost you $199. So it's pretty expensive. Uh, Sensoria sent me an extra module that would be otherwise $159, I think. So right there, that's, that just goes to show you how expensive it would be, say, if you were to lose the module in the app, you will only see the kind of data for one foot if you just stick with the one module that comes in the $100, $199 pack. Other pieces of smart clothing, uh, maybe just a smart shirt from another company, a lot of them go for now $3.99 or $4.99. So value compared to some of the competitors, yes, it is a different product, socks versus shirt, but it is not as expensive as some of the competition, but it is still pretty expensive. One of the first products that Sensoria came out with was the Smart Socks. They do have a smart t-shirt for men that monitors heart rate, and then they most recently came out with a smart sports bra that pretty much does the exact same thing as the men's sleeveless smart shirt. What it is for is for heart rate. Um, so here, as you can see, there's the kind of little Sensoria logo here. This part of it is part of the heart rate monitor, and it can be snapped off like that. I'm not going to take the whole thing off just because I'm going to, I want to leave it on. <laughs> um, but there's the Bluetooth and ANT plus sensor in here. And where the heart rate monitor actually lies are, is underneath this band right here. So there are electrodes underneath there that just like any other standard chest strap heart rate monitor, you need to wet a little bit um, before you initially pair the device with your phone and the Sensoria app. And then it will come on and you'll be able to um, see it via Bluetooth on your smartphone. You can pair the heart rate monitor with the Sensoria Fitness app, or you can pair it with other fitness apps like Map My Run, um, Runtastic, things like that. So you can use it as you would a regular chest strap heart rate monitor with other apps. So it's pretty flexible in that way. The socks can only be used with the Sensoria Fitness app. So um, the heart rate monitor, you could just buy this bra if you wanted, and it's really you're paying for convenience. The um, Smart Source Sports Bra goes for $139. So compared to a regular chest strap um, heart rate monitor that goes for about $70 or $80, that is more expensive, but again, you're paying for the convenience. So this is the Sensoria Fitness app, and as you can see, there are these two feet there, which are my feet, and since I have both uh, modules paired with my um, smartphone, you can see where I'm placing the most pressure on my feet. Anytime you lift up your feet, you're going to see the pressure on these feet change. So you see I have both the uh, left and right module attached to my socks and I also have the heart rate monitor bra on as well. And if you want to click on any of these, you can see your status like tap to unpair, that kind of stuff. And with these, you can also see the battery life. So at the bottom, we have the notifications tab, the activity stats tab, and the voice coach tab. So the notifications tab are just 
it's basically just a log of what the voice coach tells you when you're running, um, which is a little bit of a bummer. I thought it was going to be more kind of advice on how to improve your form, like your running form better, um, more than what the voice coach gives you, but it's not. The activity stats tab is where you're going to spend a lot of your time, um, at least after you do your runs. So this is where all the runs that you save are located. Um, so as you can see here, these are all my stats from one of the jogs that I did last week. Um, and all of these you can kind of open up and you can see graphs of the full duration. My This is my cadence throughout the entire time that I was jogging. It uses your um, phone's GPS to kind of map out your run as well, so that's great. But here you can see there's foot landing, left, right, contact left and right. So that's how much contact that your left and right feet were having with the ground when you were jogging. The percentage that you landed on your um, heel for each foot. See, and I really like how it's laid out here because everything's really compact. You're not really searching for any type of information. There's nothing else that you can see in this. So some people might find this limited, but it's a pretty good um, grouping of statistics and data that you can get from these smart socks. Um, and it's all presented really nicely.